What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com and today you are coming with me to Walmart. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but the reason why I'm doing this is I'm sure you guys remember months back now, I bought a pair of these from Walmart. This is a Rawlings brand pair of soccer cleats slash football boots that they had on clearance for basically the end of the soccer season. It was right before winter. Got them for under $10 and you guys really seem to enjoy the video. So given that it's now early summer, the start of the soccer season for North America, I figured that Walmart probably has a pretty good selection at the moment. So I'm going to head over there right now, get some shoes, get some shin guards, a ball, as well as full apparel, just completely outfit myself in Walmart gear, see how much it all costs, and maybe we'll do a test video after the fact. So I think it'll be pretty interesting. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to support it with a like. So with that said, let's head over to Walmart. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that Walmart montage, which I can't believe I'm sitting at my desk making a Walmart montage. Nonetheless, this is the first Walmart that I went to, and this was their soccer football section. You can see it had balls, it had socks, shin guards, all the equipment stuff, but no boots. So for socks, this is what I ended up picking because it was the only option that they had from MITRE. They had a junior size and an adult size. I went with the adult size. They're actually made in the US as well, which was actually kind of interesting. MITRE being a brand you've heard of before, uh, they are reputable, but they do have made for Walmart products. So now I needed a ball and I was just looking at the different options. You can see this one has Black Ops branding on it and it was on sale for eight bucks. I thought that was pretty interesting. And they had a good variety of them. Some of them were MITRE and some of them were MLS official branded products. So I wanted to kind of go with one of each. So I decided to go with a cheaper ball and a more expensive one. So the cheaper one I went with is this guy right here from MITRE. The retail price was basically eight bucks. Uh, very, very inexpensive. And we'll take a closer look at it in just a second. And I also wanted to go for a different ball. And this is the one that caught my eye. It's MLS branded. And you can see it kind of has the embossed uh, grooves similar to a Nike Ordem match ball from Nike. It's kind of a copycat. And then they had this ball, which actually seemed half decent quality. It was $20, the most expensive one that they had. And it was technically listed as match specification, but I knew MITRE made good stuff. I didn't necessarily want to go with that. So I decided to go for this ball instead at $15 just to see how it would be. And we'll take a closer look at it in a bit. Now for shin guards, they had a good amount of options. These Wilson ones were the cheapest ones at five bucks. Then they had these miter ones with the ankle support. I don't really like that. I prefer the more slip-in style. So this is what they had. I got the green ones. They had red and blue as well. They're $13, but better than you would honestly expect for a Walmart product. Again, it's miter brand and they are reputable, but it is a made for Walmart product and it's still only $13. So you can only expect so much, but they're actually half decent. So. I ended up having to leave this Walmart and go to a second one because the first Walmart that I went to didn't have any soccer cleats, football boots. So this is the second Walmart and this was their shoe section. So I just wanted to take a look at what they had on offer. This is one shoe that was available in my size uh, made by Athletic Sport in this really interesting blue. And then there was this one that they also had in my size. These were the only two available in black. I think it was a little bit of a less exciting design, but I do try them on in just a second. Just wanted to give you guys a look at what the options were. In terms of adult sizes, a lot of the products that they have are more geared towards kids. So you can see there's other color variations. These are the same as the blue ones, but in white, they didn't have these in my size. Uh, and then they also had some other ones only available in kid sizes as well, like these ones right here, which kind of has a similar look to an older style messy F50 Addy Zero, if you guys remember back far enough. And then they also had another one that was kind of like the black ones, but in bright orange. And they only had these again in the really small sizes, like a two US and under those ones were 13. So I decided to try on the blue ones and the black ones, the two variations that they had in my size since I was already there. And quite honestly, the difference in feel between the two was not all that significant. They're both made from the same kind of lower quality, spongy synthetic material, and they have a very high volume fit in general. But I figured I'd try them on just to see if there was a difference between the two and they fit okay. I mean, they only have 
full sizes. So luckily I am a size 9 US, although the fit's not incredible. It's a little bit of a sloppy feeling shoe, but that's kind of to be expected, especially with the full rubber bottom. You can only expect so much. You can see the price there, $17.97. Very, very inexpensive. So the blue ones, they were okay. I wasn't overly impressed. Tried the black ones anyways. I was kind of leaning more towards the blue ones just because they're a little more exciting looking overall. But I thought these black ones were kind of interesting in that they had more of a kind of leather-like synthetic. Uh, with the kind of quilted design there at the front it has the stitching and then a logo that I'm not sure if they were trying to knock off the ASICS logo or something like that but you can see on these the upper is just collapsing on the sides and the studs kind of just smush into each other. All right guys so I am back from Walmart and I have to say I don't like going there all that much. It was very hectic especially today and I was actually surprised at how many people got mad at me for just having a camera and thinking I was recording them even though I wasn't facing them at all but that's besides the point. Nonetheless I got pretty much everything that I wanted to get except for some kind of training apparel. I was really hoping that they would have some kind of soccer shorts or some kind of a training jersey, but unfortunately neither of the Walmarts that I went to had anything like that at all. I also learned that by going to two different Walmarts that they do tend to carry different stuff. So keep in mind that just because you see certain things in my video at the Walmart that I went to, your Walmart might carry something a little bit different. Nonetheless, let me show you what I got. So this is everything that I picked up and it totals out to about $55 US. The first Walmart I went to was actually an American Walmart and the second one I went to was a Canadian Walmart. And the only thing I bought at the Canadian Walmart were these shoes right here. The retail on these was $17.97 Canadian, so $18, which is the equivalent of about $13 US. And I think it's pretty fair to say that these look like $13 shoes and they feel like $13 shoes. I plan on doing more with them, uh, but Definitely a Walmart style shoe in terms of the quality that you would expect. It's got this kind of chunkier synthetic material. It's got a very kind of chunky high volume fit in general. Not the most stable in the heel just because of how it's constructed and how open and heavily padded it is. And then obviously the rubber sole plate here with the kind of oval shaped studs. It's nothing spectacular either, but in terms of serving the purpose as a very affordable, very cheap, low cost soccer shoes, they definitely will get the job done but again there's going to be more content on those soon on the channel the shin guards these guys were 13 dollars us as well and they are miter branded miter is a brand that's been around for a little while uh, for quite a long time actually and they do make legitimately good stuff but they do have a made for walmart line as well which this is part of so the shin guards as you can see they're not that bad what i found interesting is that they are actually nocsae approved they meet those standards so if you do have that requirement for your league you can actually buy shin guards that meet those requirements at walmart which is pretty interesting basically it's just a translucent plastic shell but it's got a little bit of a floating design to it so the back of the shell is not directly against the liner there's a little bit of space there and it's called the miter breathe light so technically the breathable element are the perforations you can see right there that of course extend to the back but it's not going to flow through the plastic so i'm not exactly sure what's breathable here nonetheless it's two layers of foam a white layer and a thinner green layer and then of course this kind of fairly cheap almost cotton type material lining the back of the shin guard but they fit okay they look okay they provide decent protection and that's really all you need from a pair of shin guards they also come with these sleeves which i didn't realize until i actually brought them home and removed them from the packaging but this was hidden in there and the sleeves themselves are actually okay it's a nice stretchy material fairly durable better than some of the sleeves i've gotten with much more expensive uh, shin guards from nike as well as adidas the socks are really nothing special also from miter six dollars they've got the black and white coloring it was the only color they had available in the adult size at the walmart i bought them at and really my only complaint with these is that one they're a little bit short so i guess i have two complaints and the sock the bottom part is relatively thin and then it's got a fairly kind of chunky stitch across the top of the toes which i think is a little bit uncomfortable so for the most part six dollars it's obviously very cheap but you can spend about eight dollars and get much better quality socks from somebody like adidas as an example so i wouldn't necessarily recommend buying these unless you absolutely had to and then as far as the ball is concerned i ended up buying two different ones i wanted to go with the cheaper one which is this guy right here from miter the midnight neon which retails for about eight dollars um, obviously a nice bright green it's a standard 32 panel design and the construction of the ball while not incredible it's 
okay for $8. It's got a firmer sensation to it overall. So I'm curious to try it out and let you guys know how it is. And then I picked up this guy right here. It's kind of a more premium option. It's almost double the price with a $15 retail and it's MLS branded. So you can see the name right there. That is the brand. Um, it does have an officially licensed MLS sticker on the box itself. And I picked it up because I thought it was kind of like an Ordem knockoff. And the quality, quite frankly, is pretty sketchy. Um, you can see the orange, how it all lines up on this particular side. Then if we move it over to other sides, it just doesn't line up the same way. Look how it lines up there. Look at the corners on the ball. See, this one lines up really, really well, how the, the corners actually meet. Then if you look at other corners, they don't line up at all. And it does have those little grooves that kind of mimic the arrow track grooves from Nike. And of course, the pentagon shaped panels that are taken from the Ordem as well. So interesting design. The panels themselves are kind of very shiny. It's got a spongy sensation to it. It's honestly not the greatest ball in the world, but it's $15, it's from Walmart. And I think as a whole, all of the products that they carry at Walmart are not geared towards professional grade, high end use. It's really more for recreational stuff recreational use and having the cheapest possible options available. All right guys, so that is pretty much it in terms of what I have for you with this video. My idea behind doing this in the first place was to get all the gear and make a playtest video wearing all the Walmart stuff and seeing how it actually is. Is it as bad as you think it is or is it surprisingly good? That's what I have planned in the future. If you guys think that's a good idea, let me know down below in the comments. Leave a like on the video. And if you have any other suggestions for video ideas in regards to using this particular Walmart gear or comparing it to other stuff, let me know those suggestions down below in the comments as well. If you have any questions for me, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. That would be fantastic. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.